but I can't see this one being you easy at all. You sure to be singled out for extra attention, does that worry you? No, not really. I'm just going to have to keep getting up, that's all. Has the loss of last year's grand final still in your mind? Yeah, that's what I think made the team all that more determined not to lose this one, you know. It's no use coming two years of football and losing two years grand finals, just like Parramatta and Sydney. Can't do it. OK. Well, Wally, I believe David has Johnny Solar cornered next door in the south dressing room, something you'll be trying to do pretty soon. Uh, so let's get over and see what uh, Johnny's got to say. John, it's been your brilliance in the last two matches that's been largely responsible for South being here today. What does winning this match mean to you? Oh, it means everything to me, David. You know, it's a, really the highlight of my career and i just got to win. It's uh, been said by a lot of the press and uh, experts around town that Strudwick is the key to Valleys. Can you handle him today? Oh, I sure can, yeah. yeah. He definitely is the key, but you know, every time I've played him, I've, I've felt myself I've come out on top. I can do it again. Well, it's obvious that uh, John Salter is feeling very confident. I'm with Alan Bracken now. How are you feeling at the moment, Alan? Oh, I'm a little nervous, but I'm not too bad. I'm quite confident in the game, yeah. Feeling aggressive? Aggressive, that's right, yeah. Have you had any thoughts about losing the match? No, not really. I, you know, it's, um, we've come this, come this far, you know, you go to the grand final, we're not going to rest here. We want to win the grand final. Well, that's the feeling of the South back line, and if Malcolm Meninga fires this afternoon like he did last week with this near try, Valleys could be in trouble. He got chased by Backer. He shoots Backer! He might score! Oh! No, it's a touch! My final task in South's dressing room is a somewhat awesome one. Face to face with South enforcer Dave Brown. Dave, what do you expect out there in the first 10 minutes? Oh, I think it'll be pretty fiery in the first 10 minutes, Dave, but I think we can handle it. Will you be uh, going out there with the intention of uh, making it fiery yourselves, or do you expect it from Valleys? Oh, not really. I think uh, if they want to put on the fire, we'll give them what they want. As you said, it's going to be pretty tough out there. Have you got any fears at all? No, not at all. What about, a, what about a fear of injury? No, not really, no. Losing? Oh, just a little bit. Well, that epitomises the uh, feeling in the South front row. George is with Valley's front rower, Tom Duggan. How does uh, Tom feel at the moment, George? Tom, this is your first grand final in the front row. Uh, you got any fears? No, George, none at all. Not even of getting physically hurt? No, I can't think about that day like today. There's going to be a lot of work in there. Yeah, I like work. You do? You do? More than merrier. OK, what about a couple of big busting runs as well? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll do my part. It'll be your last game uh, in Brisbane, I believe. Yeah, that's right, George. I'll to finish it. On a winning note, yep. And what's in store for next year? Um, relaxation, just coming down and watch the football in Brisbane every now and then and watching it on the uh, TV. Any uh, particular fears of the, of the two front rowers from South? No, nah, none at all, George. I've struck them before and it'll be today I'll be no different than any other time. Finally, the man in the hot seat, Valley Captain Coach Russ Strudwick. Russ, any uh, last minute changes, surprises? No, mate, the ground's still here, the pace is still here. Everything seems to be okay. Game plan the same as previous games? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Still nervous, are you? Oh, yeah, mate, not as nervous as what they are, I don't think. I, we've been here a long time and we've got no problems. What's it feel like to be the, the mark man? I, I think if South think that way, mate, they might as well not go out in the field. There's 35,000 people out there, Ross. 5,000 died in the Wool Valley followers and 30,000 people hoping like hell that's it, that Valley's going to get beaten. Uh, how do you handle that? Uh, there's 30,000, uh, there might be 5,000 Valley supporters out there and 30,000 people who really don't care who win as long as they see good football and uh, mate, we've got the good football so they'll be on our side. OK, Ross, well, that's the inside story from both camps here. One fellow who's been through it all, of course, is Des Morris. Des is up in our commentary box. So let's go up to Des and uh, see what his last-minute predictions are. Well, thanks, George. The atmosphere out here today is electric. Both sides are uh, fairly keen to get into the game. This is the worst part of the, of the grand final, of course, is waiting to get out there. And uh, Valleys, I feel, are a little bit cooler. And uh, South have got their first up nerves. And uh, I just can't wait for the game to start. It should be, a great, uh, should be a really great game. I just can't wait for it to start today. And uh, here's the Southern, Southern, Southern Suburbs team taking the field right now. We'll have a listen to the crowd. Gibson at fullback, Graham and Bracken on the wings, Meninga and Ashton in the centres, Keeley and Sol of the halves, Argyros and Lock Ford, Weir and Lumby in the second rows, Kellaway and Brown the props, David Gould. Who can we look for, David Wright? Well, George, Alan Bracken and Mick Graham, the two flankers for the try apiece in last weekend's game, will be looking for similar service. And Billy Argyros, the Tigerish little lock, smallest uh, lock forward playing in Brisbane, the tackling machine, they'll be looking for a non-stop performance from Argyros. 
to uh, contain Valley's attacking machine. He'll be looking for something like around about 40 tackles. Yeah, there's the Valley side, and uh, they're lining up in centre field. And uh, there's the team, Mills at fullback, Neil and Faldi on the wings, Close and Whelan in the centres, McQuirter and Strabick the halves, Lewis at lock forward, Summer and McLeod the second rowers, Duggan and McGinn as the props, and Paul Richards the hooker, of course. David? A look at the Valley's flankman, uh, George. Peter Felby would be surely the fastest man on the field. Well up in the try scoring list this year, scoring 15 tries in Brisbane. Mick Neal with the goal kicking responsibilities. He's the top, choice, top point scorer in Brisbane football with 226 points this year from 101 goals. Not completely at home on the wing, but settling down after a half a dozen or so games. The Valley centre pair, Vic Whelan and Chris Close, probably the biggest and strongest centre pair in, in Brisbane club football and their clash with Meninga and Astle should be a highlight of the match. OK, the toss has been done. And